What's up YouTube? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about mostly sneakers and tech. And for this episode, we're going to do a review of the newly released Nike Air Force 270 Olympics. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are giving away a bunch of hyper laces as well as REMS cleaning solution the moment we hit 20,000 subscribers. Subscribe now! Follow me on Instagram. If you guys have been following this channel for a while now, you know that I am a huge fan of the Air Max 270 as well as the Air Force 270. I've got quite a number of Air Max 270s, including the Dusty Cactus, the Hot Punch and Light Bone, as well as the Black Flyknit version. Now, on the side of the Air Force 270s, I actually have the Air Force 270 Safari, but I have been keeping an eye out for a new model of the 270s, the Air Force 270s that I would cop. And this one, the moment that I saw it pop online, I knew that I had to get it. And I knew that it was something that would haunt me if I didn't, you know, be able to put it in my collection. So while, you know, trying my luck for the raffle for the Air Off-White Jordan 1 UNC, I saw this one, so I picked this up to be able to qualify for the raffle. Let's get to the sneaker, of course. The standout part of it is this giant air unit that you have here, which is the air unit 270. 270 because it's like 270 degrees. And at the same time, this is one of the tallest air units that Nike has ever made. This is the same air unit that you get with the Air Max 270. Now, what's so special about this sneaker? If you guys saw my review of the Air Force 270 Safari, the thing I loved about this silhouette was the character and the overall personality of the shoe because it just has so many elements and features. It is not a one-dimensional sneaker. Now, of course, some people would probably want to get like a sleeker, more subtle, you know, timeless kind of look. But if you're looking for something a little more futuristic, a little that's something a little more busy but fun, then you might want to check this sneaker out. Now, obviously, when it comes to the colors, you have it primarily in blue, red, and yellow. Apart from that, you have some black accents, but what really makes it stand out is really the materials that they used for the sneaker. Up here at the toe box, you have some sort of suede material. And I love suede for the toe box, especially with sneakers like this one, because it doesn't crease. That, of course, is the popular problem, problem of the Jordan 1 sneakers. And it's actually something that I also have with the Air Force 270 Safari. So the suede edition is brilliant and it's good if you ask me. Moving up, you have some sort of neoprene material over here. Uh, of course, the suede, by the way, stretches along the sides of the shoe, both on the lateral and the medial side. But what another standout feature, apart from that giant air unit, of course, is this strap that you see running along the laces. It's a magnetic strap and it says here, pull. So if you pull, it detaches itself, exposing the laces. But it's quite easy to also put back in if you want to do that. Now, apart from the pull tab, if you move up to the shoe, you have a leather panel on both sides with a gold swoosh here at the top. Again, I just love this design and this look for the Air Force 270s. Take note, it's very subjective. You guys might not want, you guys might not like it, but for my personal style and my taste, I'm digging it. Moving down to the midsole part, as you guys can see here, you have some sort of gradient dark blue, which eventually becomes white, and that's the white foam that you have for the other half of the midsole. Of course, the lower part, or the back part, as we mentioned earlier, is the air unit. Now, what's special about it design-wise is that they did have, or they did put, some sort of gold splatter paint that stretches again across the entire midsole from the dark blue area down to the, this part of the midsole. And I just love the added dimension and design that it gave to the sneaker. If you go to the outsole, you have your typical Air Force 270 outsole, the rubber part here, as well as the padded rubber that you have here at the back. And no, guys, this doesn't burst. This bubble doesn't pop. It's something that's pretty durable and pretty resilient. Now, the Air Max 270 is, to be honest, much more comfortable to wear than this one. Because while it does have that air unit here at the back, and the durable and the you know nice cushioning material for the foam here at the forefoot part of the shoe from the midfoot to the forefoot, it is kind of heavy because there are a lot of things going on. You have different materials, you have leather, you know, suede, neoprene, and a bunch of other stuff. In short, there's a lot of things going on, which is actually the price that you have to pay if you want the look 
Now, what is the effect on the sneaker? Like what I mentioned in my Air Force 270 Safari review, if you wear it for a long period of time, the foot fatigue does set in because it's not as lightweight as the Air Max 270. So this is a pair that you would wear more for the style and more for the look than the comfort. Don't get me wrong. It's not uncomfortable. It's not something that will like make your feet sore, but it's also not the most comfortable sneaker that you can have. And there are a lot of other more you know, shoes that offer better breathability, better cushioning that are out there in the market within this same price range. Sizing, I went true to size, fits okay, but probably in hindsight, probably should get gotten a half a size up mainly because I have wide feet. This one sells for a little over 8,000 pesos here in the Philippines. You can get it from Titan Philippines as well as other you know stores that offer Nike. Sneakers like uh, I think Athletes Foot U uh, Philippines already has this pair. Uh, if the great thing though about getting it from Titan is that if you are a member of their Titan Player Club, I forget the exact name. You can get you know a significant discount. I think I cop this fare for seven thousand two hundred pesos, eight hundred off the retail just because of the membership. So do I recommend the Air Force two seventy? This is a bit biased because I just love the silhouette, and again, it's very subjective because it is a style decision. It is a fashion statement more than it is a discussion on the technical and comfortable feel of the sneaker. That said, I love it. It's something that appeals to me. The question is, does it appeal to you? There are a lot of designs of the Air Force 270 that you might want to consider. There's an all red one, there's a Safari, there's a more subtle one with the wolf gray. There are a bunch more colorways coming. So it really boils down to what your taste is and what you guys are looking for when it comes to styling your sneakers. As for me, this is something that I like, it's something that I love, so I ended up copying it. And I am excited to wear this a little more often in the coming weeks ahead. And that's actually it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please do make sure that you subscribe to the channel and please do make sure that you follow me on Instagram so that you guys will be part of our 20,000 subscriber raffle. That's it for now. Peace. God bless.